Ubisoft. Obsidian Entertainment. South Park Digital Studios. Gameware. And hello to South Park, the stick of truth. My name is Oh No Not Him, and this is my very first appearance on YouTube, so of course I am slightly nervous. It's my first project. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's such a popular project, so I hope I can keep my, expe uh, my expectations of uh, bringing you a good game, and I hope you, you are pleased with my gameplay. And uh, as you might have guessed, I am not British, so uh, please stick with me and please do accept my uh, my little set outs and yeah well we'll have a lot of a lot of fun together. I am playing this game semi-blind. Uh, I've, I've played a bit in the story. I got a bit familiar with the gameplay. Um, I played a thief, so I'm not going to play a thief again. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, this this game always makes me laugh. So. <laughs> I thought I'd, I'd buy Fraps and kind of give you a let's play from it, and here I am now. So let's jump in with a new game. Deep in the lands of Zarad, the humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years, the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the drow elf armies continue their attack. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war seem to change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid, before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick, controls the universe. Nice intro, nice intro. So um, here we are in the character character uh, characterization, and of course it's not the biggest, you know, it's it's not the it's not the most detailed characterization I've ever seen in my life, but it, it's nice. You got <laughs> you got a lot of nice details. Uh, it, it's fun to just like put yourself together a character, and I kind I kind of know what I want to play <laughs> already. Uh, it's, it's Let's say it this way, it's, it's gonna piss Cartman off. So, <laughs> uh, yes, let's play a ginger with a jumper. And a lot of you may have played it already, or seen gameplays already, or may have clicked me already. already. <laughs> no glasses, glasses are gay. So yeah, let's, uh, oh yeah, uh, a thing about the game, it, it literally plays like an episode of South Park which makes it so funny and it, it just makes it beautiful so let's jump into the game Well, I think that's everything. We did it, hun. we We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for... him? They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. Sweetie, hun, you all dressed? Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? 
I know it's a big change for all of us, but son, do you remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good, that's good he doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie, we want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Right, get outside and play, son. Like, like normal kids. <laughs> We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark. Yeah, we love you too. <laughs> well, it's, it's less... <laughs> It's nice to know that you have loving parents and <laughs> yeah well <laughs> first time welcome in game of South Park beautiful yeah little gimmicks make this game just uh, so so much fun <laughs> uh, no it's just it's just Hard to describe this game. It's very hard to describe. It's it's just South Park. Oh, oh man. <laughs> what was that? Uh, well, I, I must add to this. I, I didn't really look around first time I played through. I just played through the story and... It, it was still a lot of fun, but I'm, I'm, I'm guessing there are so many hidden things that are just hilarious. And I, I just want to go out and explore the world and see what's out there. And I, and I hope I discover a lot of things with you guys. So, uh, first of all, let's, let's go to the kitchen and take the money. Ooh, two dollars. Nice. And with that, we have found some makeup. And we're going to put it on. Nice war makeup, so, yeah. No, that's nice, that's nice. No, oh, thanks. <laughs> Can't you just be normal? Oh man, that poor kid. Come on, son, get out there, make friends. That's enough! Knock it off! They're very, very patient and loving parents, as you can see. <laughs> no, no. Was that you? It Oops. wasn't a request, it was a command. Now get out there and make some friends. <laughs> oh man. Love it. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear a wig. I'm gonna keep with my hair. Uh, we got a quest. Go and make some friends. Well, let's you go shall make some die friends. by my warhammer, Drow Elf. Yeah, uh, I banish thee to the forest realm. That way, I banish you first. Haha, you can't hold out much longer. Help, somebody! I can't hold out much longer. Help! So now we have to help Butters. Hey, no fair! That's cheating. I'm gonna tell my mom. <laughs> Thanks, kid. I didn't realize he had a health potion. My name is Butters the Merciful. I'm a paladin. I live right next door to you. We should be friends. Yay, first friend. Nice. And Butters now is our gateway. Friends, you should speak with the Wizard King. He's been talking about your arrival. The wizard lives this way, in the greenhouse, over there. Hey, where are you from? Well, uh... Where'd you live before moving here? May I talk, Butters? Thank you. You know well, Colorado? Butters is basically our gateway in. So, yeah. Off to see Cartman. All hail the Grand Wizard! So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by Coldwell Banker. I am the Wizard King. But the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. <laughs> oh, man. I just love this. I'm, I'm sorry. I just... This is just hilarious. I can't... Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. <laughs> Don't talk to her. She's not part of the game. <laughs> yeah, getting the lovely feeling between Cartman and his mom, like in the episodes. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep.
Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. <laughs> and here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kinney wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. <laughs> nice, so this is the kingdom. And let's do some exploring. Behold the distant realm of downtown, home of corrupt merchant lords and homeless people. <laughs> nice description of the city. My loyalty is as incurable as my diabetes. Oh, come on. <laughs> you may have heard of my deeds at the Battle of Stark's Pod. So, I got, so, got some new friends. That's nice. My dad will be happy. <laughs> yes. As court paladin, my job is to deliver the Wizard King's justice and his mail. <laughs> Yay. So uh, let's not procrastinate anymore. Let's go talk with Cartman to see the stick of truth. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, <laughs> but first. Please tell us thy name. Thy name is... Oh, no, not him. There we go. You entered douchebag, is that correct? <laughs> uh, I, I knew that would happen. <laughs> no. Are you sure you want to keep the name douchebag? <laughs> Very well, douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, mage, thief, or Jew. <laughs> A fighter has courage, honor, and the ability to kick fucking ass. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. <laughs> you look sneaky enough to be a thief. A Jew from New Jersey. So you're basically Cow's mom. <laughs> Jew, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. Oh man, this is this is so wrong, but so funny at the same time. <laughs> oh, so uh, yes, we are going to play as the fighter. The fighter has no, courage, no. <laughs> honor, and the ability. A Jew whip, from New Jersey. Whip. So we're, you're basically cow's mom. We're, we're playing Welcome as to the, the Jew. KKK douchebag the Jew. You <laughs> probably can also handle our finances. Hooray! <laughs> now please go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight. Oh, come on. I love this so much. Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for two dollars? Let's buy a weapon. We are going to buy the Jewish staff. Nice. Ah, a lovely purchase. So, the Jewish stuff. Nice. Here, this is basically... Oh, I get a chance to talk. So, this is basically... Um, yeah, your inventory. And with your inventory, you get, like, items, and you can select these. Basically, like, it's like an RPG, basically, and... Yeah, so let's let's get this started. Uh, close it. Good. Now, how about you equip your weapon? But don't let it bother you that there's a game to be played. No. <laughs> Gotta equip my Jewish stuff. There ah, we go. you have procured a weapon. Nice. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clyde. What? Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. What I do? I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. This is just great, man. This is just great. I'm gonna kick your ass. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. <laughs> I know it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. All right, douchebag, bash Clyde's face in. Don't be shy. Suck it. Yeah, basically, fighting uh, system is per round, and it's kind of interactive because you can block and like do critical damage on, and fight. use it. Yes, and use items. So uh, let's listen to Cartman. Oh hell yeah, Clyde, your bitch! 
All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. Let's hit Clyde as hard as we can. Oh. To do that, we just right click oh, when shit, it. Oh dude, I think I see it, blood. Fucking nice, bro. It's exactly what you do to guys with armor like that. Okay, listen up. The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the bows. Clyde, it's your turn to attack. Douchebag, protect your bows. Okay, let's protect our balls. Prepare yourself. Ah! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Dude, you're already way better than Clyde. <laughs> All right, it's time to use your heroic powers. Using your ability takes power points, or PP for short. <laughs> PP. <laughs> if you have a fucking better name for them, then fucking say it, Clyde. Fucking asshole. I'm the king, and I say it's PP. Douchebag, use your Jew ability to make Clyde pay for insulting the king. All right, let's use our ability. And it is, of course, the Sling of David. Uh, the small man gonna hit the big one, so let's mash A and D. Ah! Nice. Way to wipe that smile off his stupid face, douchebag. Now do it one more time. Finish him. What? I was going easy. Take this. This does double damage. <laughs> First block was fail, but you know, I got there in the end, and we'll use another Sling of David to mash him up. <laughs> First win! Yay! <gasps> Wasn't too bad. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome! You were all like, beam, and Clyde was all like, nah, nah. <laughs> okay, okay, you've proved yourself worthy, douchebag. Now come inside the war tent and I shall let you see the relic. <sighs> Let's go see the relic. Oh. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending <clears throat> war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The <gasps> stick of truth. It's the stick. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the stick of truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs $9.95 for the first week, $4 of which is tax deductible. <laughs> alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive positions! <laughs> Douchebag, come help us! Oh man! Man the gate! Don't let them through! Give us the stick, humans! Fuck you, Drow Elf! Come and get it! Clan, guard the stick of truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye! Hi, hi, we're not playing pirates, Clyde! <laughs> Douchebag, this is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs! <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> Let's help Butters again! Son oh, oh wait, bitch. wrong one, wrong one. Sorry, Butters! I'm so sorry! Do it, Douchebag, kick these elves' asses! Let's do it. <laughs> You're wounded, Douchebag! Potions will heal you, here! Woohoo! Potion! And of course it is cheesy poofs, cheesy puffs, poofs, however you pronounce it. Yummy, yummy, yummy! Heal my life. Nice. The rules say you can have one potion every turn. I asked for five, but this was coming. <laughs> this guy's fast, douchebag. Try to block all his attacks. Ooh, oh dear. Ah! Okay, if you block all the attacks, you get a counter attack. Look at your enemy on the ground, weak and helpless. Kick the shit out of him. <laughs> Ooh, nice nine damage. Oh, he kicked his helpless ass. Now finish off these elves in the name of the Wizard King! For the Wizard King! Uh, so let's use our Sling of David on the bowman, on the archer back here. Because they can be really oh. annoying. Ooh, nice, one hit. Suck on this! Oh, ow. <laughs> oh, sweet. So with the Jew, you get PP back for every time you get hit. I like this because... If you're the other classes, it, it, it kind of gets complicated Great to get job, the PP, Dushbag. so... It's quite cool. I like it. I like the Jew so far. And he does yeah. a shitload of damage, let's say it like that. Kick your asses, new kid! I got you back! Finally! You got this, douchebag! Ooh, reposting. What are you waiting for, douchebag? That guy's just standing there. Go kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he was totally waiting for you, dude. 
You can't just hit him like that. You need to try a different tactic to damage him. Look at that archer hiding behind his friend like a wood. Switch to your arrows, douchebag. Snipe that little bitch. I have arrows. Sweet. Sweet, now you can hit the guy in the back. Go I for the pink mitt. I don't remember equipping. Oh, uh, yeah, bitch, that's what you get for fucking with the wizard king. I don't remember equipping arrows. Careful, douchebag. That guy's ready for your arrows now. You gotta try something else. I know what we're gonna use. We are going to use the Sling of David. Ah! Nice. Oh, sweet. Our turn again. So let's use a power arrow. Oh, crap. He was still reflecting. Oh, that hurt. Ah. Great job, douchebag. Nice! Second battle won. It was close, it was close. Forgot he was repulsing, but we got there in the end. Fight! Fight oh no! We have to save Easy the little guys. kitty! Little kitty! Ooh. Ooh, armor. Let's do this, douchebag. Reposting. Shoot. Okay, that guy has a shield. Shields are super weak. Just hit them with your simplest hit over and over to wear them down quickly. It's actually true for once. He's actually giving me a legitimate... Nope. Legitimate hit. Hell yeah, that's how you do it. The other elf let his guard down. Now's your chance. Power attack his armor. What? Oh. Nice. That's it. Now finish him. Okay, if you block all the attacks, you get a counter-attack! Look at your enemy on the ground, weak and helpless! Kick the shit out of him! I did already. Now, let's do another Sling of David on him, and that should finish the fight! Oh. Yes! Epic win! Nice! So, yeah. That was the first few fights. Drow Elves, fall back! Fall back, I say! Yes! Awesome, dude! Take that, you asshole elves! Better luck next time! Na 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 na! We still control the universe! <laughs> it's God. What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. <laughs> that was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! <laughs> Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time! What? No! You can't do that! Yeah, I can! You're banished and lost in time and space! Yeah, go home, Clyde! You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, <laughs> then you can make me a douchebag, but you sure can't fight! <laughs> Shut up, Scott, nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The Stick of Truth has been stolen, and we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king! Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be <laughs> sure you're well equipped. Now go! And send my warriors here! So that's our first go with proper it. quest. We are not going to do it now, though. We are going to do it next episode, because that's all I have time for. Sorry for me being so quiet, but, you know, at the beginning, very wordy, not a lot for me to say, but that hopefully will change as we proceed through the story and get it deeper into the game. And I am very looking forward to bringing out the next episode, and I really do hope that you guys will be there and uh, will be accompanying, uh, accompanying me throughout this game and that we'll have fun together. So, see you guys. Bye.